your imagination sucks. It's not that good. Even like the best artists in the world, it's all based off of stuff they've either seen or stuff that they remember seeing because that's where everybody gets their ideas from. It's okay if you gotta go look at something to get an idea. It's okay if you gotta go look at something somebody else looked at and then interpreted or documented in some way, like a photographer or a painter or somebody else. Nobody just like sits in a room, in a dark room and comes up with, an, with a brilliant idea from just nothing. Even like the best artist in the world, Kim Jong-gi, rest in peace. He drew stuff that, you know, we know what that stuff looks like. He drew an engine from memory because, you know, he's seen a bunch of engines before and he's drawn them a million times. Even if he draws like a chick with a tiger head, those are still two things that exist in the world and that we can observe and look at and study, chicks and tiger heads. Those two things combined, sure, no one's done that before, but those two things exist. So everything he's drawn, everything you kind of see in, in the world, like I'm looking at artwork all around, all in my room, like buildings, a uh, girl with a wolf mask, you know, computers, whatever, 3D art, everything is based off of stuff that exists in the real world. So stop trying to make it up. Stop trying to like come up with something no one's ever come up with. It's fine. We all do it. We all look at reference. Even if you act like you don't. You do. It's fine. No one's gonna be mad at you. No one's judging you. If you look at artwork, you're scrolling through Instagram and you just see some artwork and you're like, wow, that looks amazing. Like, I don't know how the person came up with it. I could never come up with something like that. It's very likely they looked at another artist or a photographer or somebody outside of the medium that they're creating the artwork in. And they were like, hmm, I like those colors or I like that composition. Or you watch a movie. I'm often watching a movie and I just pause take a picture of the screen with my phone because I love that composition or I love the colors. I wanna try that when I get home. So that's what, that's what I've been doing and it's been fun. It's really fun to just copy stuff. I'm not one for one copying it. I'm looking at something and I'm like, that looks really cool. I wonder if I can recreate that. And um, I try it. So if you need help coming up with ideas, one cool trick that I recommend trying, take two things that exist and just combine them. Like that's what a lot of fan art is, is like somebody has a style or somebody likes two properties and they're like, I wonder what Pikachu would look like as a human. I don't know, something like that. You know what I mean? Like you just take two things or three things if you wanna go like crazy, like crazy and just combine them. I'll take something like Akira and I'm like, wow, that looks really cool. I wanna try recreating that and that's it. That's as far as I'm going with it and then just kind of see where it goes. and it ends up doing pretty damn well, let me tell you. Or like more recently, I've just been doing this Linkin Park thing. I'm like, hey, watching this video that I haven't seen in a long time since I was a kid. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, this is the most amazing thing in the world. I could never. And now that I've got some skills, some like art, you know, stuff, some knowledge a little bit here and there, I'm thinking like, I think I can kind of remake this. And I'm not gonna try to copy it exactly or compete with it on any level. I'm just, I like it and I'm gonna try to recreate it. And that's it. So I'm like taking this thing that exists and putting it into my version or my understanding of it. It kind of comes out not like fully original. It's clearly referenced and all this kind of stuff. And this isn't even really a conversation about like original work. It's just about not worrying about the fact that you can't come up with stuff because nobody's really coming up with stuff. Everybody is looking at stuff and combining it with stuff that no one has combined it with. You take a thing or a technique or a medium or a subject and you combine it with some other thing, medium, subject that no one's combined it with yet. And that's okay if you do it that way too. You should do it that way. It's like actually really fun. So yeah, let me, I'm just gonna make stuff. Uh, I really just wanted to get that out of the way. I wanted to kind of make a little bit of a video on this. The rest of this is probably gonna be just me making stuff. Feel free to stick around and watch if you want to. If not like all good, you're free to go. Yeah, thanks for letting me rant. All right, I'll, I'll see you in the next one.